Hi, I'm Father John Hatcher, President of St. Francis Mission. I just want to take this opportunity to wish you a happy Easter. I told this story in our letter this, uh, this month, but I'm going to tell it to you again. There is, a, at St. Francis Mission, an account of Father Eugene Beekel. Father Beekel was a famous Jesuit missionary. He came uh, in 1900 and who stayed there until 1954 when he died. Father Beekel uh, is the one who uh, wrote the uh, orthography for the language, wrote the dictionary, wrote the syntax. Uh, he collected a lot of artifacts. He knew the language perfectly, preached in it, and so forth. Baptized a lot of people, was, lived with them. He was well respected. But near the end of his life, he would go into St. Charles Church and sit down to pray. And one evening when he stood up, the church was empty. He was by himself. He turned around and the church was filled with Lakota people. Many of them, all of them who had died, some of them whom he had baptized were present in the church. And uh, this is a, a story that is handed down and I believe it. He was a holy man, a man of the people. But what's important about that story is that uh, these people who had been part of the church, and even those good people who had never been baptized but were faithful, had gone before him. And the whole point of the exercise, of our exercise, is that we should join those people. The resurrection is the resurrection of Jesus and our resurrection. What Father Pico experienced is not odd or different. He, he experienced the communion of saints that's around us. Think about all the people in our families that have gone before us, wonderful people. They're with Jesus and with Christ, and they're also with us. They're risen, they're there. They're part of that life that we will one day share. The uh, first canon for reconciliation has this line. We will be saints among the saints in the halls of heaven. Well, what Father Beekle saw were saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, and we will one day join that group to be saints among the saints. So this time of the year is a, a time to celebrate that Jesus came, overcame death, and makes it possible for us to understand that we live forever in this group of risen persons who will enjoy one another for eternity. Happy Easter.